Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense, here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about Criminal Defense, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. Now, we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who is accused of uh, moving to another country while being on bail. Let's see here. My son was accused of sexually molesting a five-year-old. This week he disappeared and who we believe he's in Canada with his aunt. Gina, shock. Uh, yeah, well, let's talk about molesting a five-year-old for a minute. Um, any kind of molestation of a child is going to be a serious offense. It's going to be a felony that, you know, that will require sex registration for life under Penal Code Section 290 here in the state of California. But the type of molestation could really make a huge difference regarding the punishment beyond the sex registration. Uh, if we're talking about touching breasts, buttocks, penis, vagina outside the clothes, we're gonna get into that later, that would be a violation of Penal Code Section 288, parentheses A, felony that carries up to eight years state prison plus having to register as a sex offender for life. Now, if there are instances where a minor um, alleges that he or she was molested three times or more during the course of two months, this would be a violation of Penal Code Section 288.5. That is continual sexual abuse of a minor, obviously also a felony, obviously also carries sex registration, but that carries also 16 years, up to 16 years of state prison. Now, if there's an allegation of any kind of penetration uh, either a vaginal or anal, I'm mean, just so we're talking about a boy here, but just any kind of penetration. Now we're talking about a violation of um, Penal Code Section uh, 288.7, 288.7 parentheses A, that is a felony that carries 25 years to life, plus having to register as a sex offender for life. Now the reason why, and I know that in this example we're talking about a boy, a nine-year-old boy that was allegedly molested, or a five-year-old uh, that was allegedly molested. Actually, it doesn't even say that it was a boy, because so it very well could have been a girl. Okay, um, it's very important, and I know this is going to be graphic and disgusting for most people, but um, when we're talking about a five-year-old girl specifically, although this could apply to a boy, the slightest amount of penetration the slightest amount of penetration automatically turns this into a 288.7. That's why I said specifically that when it comes to a girl, if somebody were to touch a girl's vagina but over the clothes, that's a 288 parentheses A. However, it's not necessary to shove a finger or penis or whatever into a girl's vagina. Simply passing the, the vaginal lips, the libia minora, that is enough for this to be considered penetration under the law. So if some guy were to rub a little girl down there under the clothing, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a 288.7 and he will be facing 25 to life. It's not a surprise that he uh, skipped bail, obviously because of the seriousness of the offense. However, um, if uh, remember, Canada will have extradition uh, with the United States, has an agreement of extradition, so they'll just arrest him in Canada, uh, bring him back here when, once they get a hold of him, and it's going to go worse. Not only that, but for whoever posted the bail, that's not a good thing either. Because if you were to have posted a bail, let's say a $100,000 bail, and you gave the bail bondsman $10,000, well, not only will you lose that $10,000, but they're gonna come after you for the difference, for that $90,000 difference, because the court is gonna keep the bail bond company's bond uh, until, uh, that, uh, you know, until your son turns himself in. And in the meantime, they're gonna come after you to try to get their money back. And keep in mind, they need to uh, get a hold of your son or you within a year, otherwise that bond goes poof. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comment section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court here in the San Francisco Bay Area, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who failed a lie detector test. Criminal lawyer 
criminal lawyers, DUI lawyer, DUI lawyers, criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, DUI attorney, DUI attorneys.